Hi everybody, it's Bob Boob, the real estate guy. How are you doing? I have the honor today of giving you a tour of 57 Firehouse Road. It's actually got a Mill Hall mailing address, but it's in the little village of Salona, Pennsylvania. Now behind the camera is my awesome son, Josh Boob. Um, so uh, we're gonna give you a little tour as you can see. It's a gorgeous one-story house, and there's gonna be a little bit of stopping and starting throughout the video, um, but bear with us here then. We'll be right back. One. It's me again, coming up the hill here. One of the things I wanted to point out to you, we have a nice one-car garage underneath, and as Josh kind of pans to his right, you're gonna see we have a beautiful covered porch here. But boy, Josh, if you just show him up there a little bit, that's a, I don't know if that's new, but that's a newer looking metal roof. Uh, I'm not sure how old that is, but these people have taken a lot of good care of their house. And then off to my right here, you're gonna see gorgeous yard. It's about three quarters of an acre. It's got some mature trees in it, garden area. I think what, Josh, in the back there, is that a shed, that part of this property, or is that the neighbors? Neighbor. That's the neighbors. You gotta make friends with them if you're gonna use that, then that's not part of the sale. But this, to my left here, this shed is included, not the four-wheeler, but you'll see to the left of the shed, there's a fenced-in yard area right here, and this might be good if you have either pets or children, or, or you just be a fenced-in area. Now we added about $25,000 of value for the above ground pool that they've added to the property. Okay, I'm just teasing about that. But uh, you can see here, very, very well maintained house then. And here you get a little different perspective of the covered porch. This is a space that you'll probably find if you buy this house, you'll use this in the spring, summer, and the fall, because this is nice to get the shade or just if it starts to rain. Okay, I'm gonna take you inside now, I'll be right back. One. Oh, we're inside and it feels good in here. We got air conditioning. It's a very hot day. We're recording this video. We got a bunch of nice things to share with you here in the kitchen. This is a granite countertop. This is the whole way around. You'll see this is really expensive stuff. This is really nice. You'll see nice color choices with inside the kitchen area here. And Josh, I believe they're going to leave the appliances with the sale if the, if the price is right, right? Correct. Yeah, exactly. So that's real nice then. I got the kitchen island here that's included now as josh turns to his left you're going to see here it's kind of an open kitchen flows naturally into an oversized dining room area here it's got laminate floors down and then as josh continues to the left you'll see here we come to the living room area now again we're at 57 firehouse uh, in salona Salona, if you're not familiar with Salona, it's a small little community in Lamar Township. It's actually a really good location for our commuter buyers. So if you might, one of you works in State College, the other one going towards uh, Williamsport or Lock Haven, it's a really good spot uh, for that. Salona, I looked this up because I didn't know how they came up with the name of Salona, but believe it, believe it or not, it's named after a city in Greece called Thessalonia or something like that. I can't speak very good Greek, but that's what it's named after. So there's your trivia information for the day. As we continue on with the tour, we're gonna to show you three of the bedrooms. And that's the uh, first one here. And I'll just let Josh kind of take you in each room and scan you around. But you're gonna see this owner really takes good care. This particular room uh, has the knotty pine uh, boards in the ceiling area. So that's kind of a neat touch. And then this is a bedroom. I should spend some time in this room. It's got the workout stuff. I need to get rid of some of my COVID weight, but this is actually a really spacious room. And I think most of the windows, Josh, you correct me if I'm wrong, they're like the thermal double pane windows. I didn't look at all of them, but a lot of upgrades here with the roof, the vinyl siding, the windows. Again, just a house that's been really, really well cared for. And then back down this hall here, and Josh, I'll let you just walk them right into that third bedroom here this is also so even I guess this would be the smallest bedroom but really it's not that small of a bedroom it just happens to be the smallest of this house and then we have two bathrooms in this house this would be what we would call the common bath this is in good condition this has a newer window in it as well and just again a nice looking nice looking bath okay I'm gonna pause for a second I'm gonna show you the master bedroom be right back what Okay, this is like a whole other house within this house. I think it's about 2,000 square foot house. I think there's about 1,000 of it draped in this master bedroom. And then we still have kind of a man cave, family room, rec room downstairs in the basement to show you here yet. But this is a 
very, very large master bedroom then. Now, as you'll see, well, Josh, you can show them right there to your right. Here you have the master bath. It's got the double sink in here. And if I remember correctly, as Josh has shown you here, I think it has a separate shower and a big garden tub. So again, just nice size bathroom, huh, Josh? Yeah, this is really, this is the biggest bedroom in here. And then you have two bonuses in this master bedroom. You have the one, which is this huge, huge walk-in closet. My gosh, Josh, I just, you just don't see enough of those kind of walk-in closets, do we? And they are obviously much more organized than me because my closets do not look this neat and orderly. This is how they always keep their home then. These owners are very, very finicky and have taken really, very good care of their property. Now I want to show you one other thing over here. This is kind of a bonus area. Now you can see this current owner uses it as an office area, but it actually could be converted to a second walk-in closet. Um, maybe if you have a baby in your life, could be a good nursery. Um, just, I don't know, it's just a bonus room that you could really be creative. Music room, as they're doing, I wish I had some skills with music, but yeah, that's really nice. Okay, be right back, we're gonna show you the basement. One. Okay, now I'm downstairs in the lower level of the basement area. We got a couple areas we wanna show you here. This area here, kind of behind me, and as Josh pans, there's a, you'll see there's a little bit of a area over here. It's kind of a man cave family room. Um, apparently, one of the family members is very good at hunting, because you'll see there's lots of big bucks all over the place. Uh, the mounts, the bucks do not stay. But now behind me, earlier I kind of showed you that one car garage door. That's where we're at now in the house. But look at this, Josh showed me this, like you could put a, Archery range or a bowling alley in here if you wanted to. It's really deep. It's as long as the house is here. Big workbench. I think the workbench will probably stay. Mm -hmm. Not the tools. That would be nice if the tools were included, but the workbench itself will stay then. So that's really sharp. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do the big circle here with you. We're walking through the workshop area here. We actually now come over to one of the utility uh, areas. And here we have this is a hot water boiler system this is a really good system they keep it well serviced and maintained so this does your hot water for your heating and your domestic water and then to josh's right you'll see this is the laundry area but just so you know if uh one level living was important to you you could maybe take a smaller bedroom upstairs and move your laundry up there because everything else would be on the, the first floor for you and right behind josh i'm just going to show you here this is the second area that den family room area this house qualifies actually for all the financing programs maybe you haven't looked into your financing yet maybe you have if you have any questions on that please reach out to us my company's name is called first choice realty my name is bob boob my son josh boob has the listing josh's cell phone is 570-772-47 or 4764, yeah, I got it right. Sorry, I have a bunch of children, so getting their numbers, I get goofed up then. Um, or you can call the office directly at 398-0690. If you have your own realtor, that's cool. We co-broke with other realtors, very good. But we can point in the right direction with different financing. Uh, this bad boy would go VA, FHA, PHFA, rural housing. Again, what I call the whole alphabet soup of financing. But rates are really low right now, like three and 4%. So. Yeah, so ask us about that. Closing costs sometimes are a challenge for people and down payment money. There's actually some programs that have low money down to no money down. And believe it or not, there's a couple programs out there that will even let you finance your closing cost within the deal. So again, if you have questions like that, or if you have any questions on this home, or maybe you just like to set up your own um, private showing, please reach out to us and let us know. Thank you for your time of watching this video today. It's been our pleasure to show it to you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.